What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, and I mean, today we're coming at you with the Apache 3800. Gonna show you how to turn this into some fantastic knife storage. You know, this is my first video, but I'm gonna show you some things that other people haven't been showing, you know? They've been showing it all complete. They've been not telling you how to do it. I'm gonna show you right here. This is from Harbor Freight, $38 roughly, all right? This is a clone of some Pelican case that costs 150 something dollars. Ain't no one trying to spend that much. So I'm gonna show you right now, all right? I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way since I already did one layer. So I can tell you from trial and error. Not me. So let me show you right here. Pachi. This is brand new. Right here, stupid instructions. Forget that. Don't read shit. You know, when people do things, people who know how to do things, they don't read these things. Alright, so you got this. A gum, stupid, like, uh, studio looking foam, but it's not. Don't, don't put that on your walls, guys. So here's the first layer I did. It's right here. You know, knives. 60 something, I, I don't know, I didn't count, all right? So here you go. You get one of these layers and that's the bottom. You leave that thing there, all right? That keeps it from banging around the bottom. This here, pre-cut, you see this? Look. Let me show you. Pre-cut, guys. You can see the slots in them, but you know, they're not cut through. So, all right, so I'm gonna do it exactly like this one. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it without a knife. You know, a lot of people be using knives and shit. You know, forget that crap, all right? So let me show you. Right here, you take it, we're gonna do the ones across, eight across, eight knives across. So I'm gonna show you right here, look. You just grab that thing. See, I'm doing this on camera, it's kinda hard, but it's not that hard, trust me. Look, grab it, rip, rip. A lot of fools try to do like a couple blocks at a time, like two blocks at a time, but I found that you just grab the surrounding area, do one block at a time, you know. It's fast, look at that. I'm sorry if I'm off the camera a little bit. You know, this is my first video on YouTube. I mean, I made other videos on another channel, but I'm not doing that anymore. So, there you go. Keep ripping them one at a time. If I have focusing issues, I'm sorry about that too. Using a DSLR, you know, not meant for video, but I'm doing it. Here you go. So you see, you just, all you gotta do, each block is here. So you just grab it, grab one block at a time. Grab it with your fingernails. Your, not your fingernail, your fingers. In, Thumb and index finger, grab and pull, wiggle, wiggle sideways, all right? Break it apart. There you go. So, I mean, I saw someone fumbling around with a knife. You don't want to cut yourself on just trying to put the block, I mean, put this case together, all right? So you just grab it, rip block by block, trust me. Block by block is faster than trying to cut each thing out. Look, so. It's much faster doing it this way. So you see, there's the first row. When you put them on top of each other, now you got a nice uh, four inches of foam and can uh, pretty much handle any knife you got, all right? So let me show you right now. Wiggle, 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 all right? Make sure I'm doing it correctly. Yo. I don't want to mess up on camera. That'd be embarrassing, you know? So I know, all right, so you know what? You guys see what I'm doing already. Making sure my camera's still recording because I don't got a proper camcorder. So, uh, yeah, well, come on. So this channel's basically gonna be talking about knives and gear. I mean, I'm gonna talk about any kind of stuff that I feel like to talk about, you know? Keeping it real on YouTube, keeping it real. So, uh, here you go, man. Rip, rip. I'm, if this stuff gets popular, you know, I'm gonna have to go get a proper camcorder. This is kind of screwed up. I wanna have like a camcorder that's lighter, that can fit on my tripod. You know, right now I'm using my photography tripod. Not proper, not proper at all. But, uh, 
it's okay. It works for now. You know why invest extra money? This camera, a couple thousand already. I don't want to do another one uh, by a camcorder. You know, cameras, you generally age better than camcorders too. My, my camera's kind of old. It's a DSLR full frame, but it works. So I'm not trying to plunk down some more cash. Why not when you can buy, why would you do that when you could buy a, a knife or something? Well, whatever you need to buy, life's expensive. We all know that. So you see, I'm almost done with the second row here. I'm showing you guys real time, man. So I see a lot of knife guys on the YouTube that you guys like to watch, you know, popular guys. Nick Shabazz and stuff. Man, that guy likes to talk about all the knives. Good guy, good guy. He's just scared of knives, knives that are murdery. You know, I understand. Trying to, you know, in the office setting, you don't want to have that. And he sounds like an office type of guy. You know what he sounds like to me? He sounds like that tech guy, Chris Perillo. Their voices are so similar. Sometimes I feel like I'm watching a Chris Perillo knife channel. That's the crazy shit, you know. Yeah, man, I had a YouTube channel one time. I only got up to, I think I had like two different channels for different things. And, you know, it was uh, 400 subscribers or so on both of them. Some of the some of the videos have thousands of views, like 100,000 views for like one of them. But, you know, I, I want to see if this blows up, you know. So, I, as you guys can see, I told you I did this on real time. I'm showing you all the flaws. I messed up here a little. You see, this one broke apart by accident because it's a little, only a little thin piece of foam holding every piece together. But it's fine. Take some little crazy glue, put a line there, put it there, hold it. That thing will be stuck, trust me. It's going to be stuck better than before. So, I'm trying to show you guys. Shit happens in life. You just got to keep going with it. You know, just fix it. You mess up in life, fix it. You piss someone off, you, you did something wrong, just say sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah, so much shit going on in this world. It's okay. As long as you're alive, you have a chance, right? Okay. I don't know if I want to do all this shit on camera. This is a little bit too much. It's kind of hard holding it in the angle. Usually, it's good to put it on top of like some a table or something but I'm holding it in the mid air doing this so if you guys like this video you know just let me know please subscribe like comment tell me what you guys want to see all right I'm gonna just keep it real rip rip telling you this is the fastest way to do it I'm not joking around I mean some people I heard one person said they spent a day uh, watching uh, like two movies and they finished it finally because they're f using a thin knife and cutting through it man like no nah, I don't I don't want to do that like wh there's too many blocks here to try to use a knife and cut yourself holding it in the air and poking it trust me you don't want to poke yourself with a knife trying to just take out some pieces of foam. This is embarrassing. So I'm gonna uh, try to use my knee here, actually. It might help a little bit, it might not. We just go in with it, see how, you know, on the fly, on the fly, man. I will post a link to this product Directly to Harbor Freight. Do not go to eBay, guys. They're charging like 10 bucks extra. You know, people trying to make a quick buck. But, you know, I ain't knocking it. Everyone's trying to make a quick buck. Honestly. Nowadays, it's hard to just get by with one job, you know? So a lot of people are trying to make a quick buck on the side of their real job. Or well, some people, they're so good at making a quick buck online, they just... That is, your, that is their real job, you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna need to get a better camera at focusing because this autofocusing is not working. 
I don't know what is going on with it, but I have no idea. I gotta look into it in the next video. So as you can see, I'm speeding up the process a little because I have it on my knee and I'm trying to grab two blocks at a time. So you see what I'm doing here, right? One block, two blocks, pinch two blocks and just wiggle, wiggle, lift up. Guys, come on, man, it's too easy. I see some people trying to sell these with the blocks ripped out for like guns and shit. Like they're selling it for 50 bucks. So they're trying to pocket like well, you know, they buy if they if they paid full price for this, which I doubt, because they're trying to profit, it would be thirty eight plus. You know, if they're trying to sell for fifty four, they're, they're only making a little over ten bucks. So I mean, it's not really worth it, right? Because after you ship a big case like this, you're probably paying around. I don't know if that's over a pound, but if it is, you're probably paying around like five dollars to ship at least, like six. So I'm almost done here. I don't even know how long I've been recording. Eight minutes. All right, so I think my camera has a 10 minute recording limit. So let me just speed up this last part here. That's, this is what I mean by I need new gear. This is a DSLR meant for pictures. Not one of the good ones for recording video. It's a Nikon, it's not a Canon. Canon's better for video. Nikon, you know, whatever. But, Maybe get a camcorder one day. I'll show you how to do this right now on my knee. There you go. Okay. Okay, it got eight minutes, 13, 12 seconds. Oh, no way. Why is my thing counting down? Maybe I have eight minutes left. I don't know. It's still recording. That's a good sign. All right, so look, guys, I did this all on camera. No BS. I will, am I BSing you guys? You tell me right now in the comments if you want. All right, so let me get this out of here. Okay, let me get this out. Oh, you see, okay, here, look, nothing in there, right? Nothing in here. You put this foam here. It kind of smells like sh crap, you know? I don't know what the hell to say about this. It smells don't smell good, all right? So... Just take this, put it in. There you go, all right? That's one layer. Make sure it's down nice. I, I just realized I showed my foot in the video and there's a lot of people who like feet, but uh, whatever. You got free foot in this video apparently, so. So you see this? Yo, I mean like no BS. This fits nice. Alright? There might be some parts where I'll put the glue down. Whatever, you know. I saw some people selling like a now pack foam or some crap. It's like a uh, styrofoam. A nice styrofoam though. None of that cheap crap. And the inside is like blue. I was thinking about this, and actually one of the things you could actually do. If you wanted that look, that blue effect would be like, you take some acrylic paint and you go paint the insides of like blue or some shit, you know? I mean, not worth it to me. It's not, you know what? It's the function is the most important of all tools and things in life. Now I mean, so let me show you right now. I'll lift the box up here so you guys can see. Shit, I can't see which way I'm turning. All right, so. Here you go. I'm gonna take, I only have two knives on me, right? Maybe I'll do a video with uh, all the knives in here. I don't I don't know if I have that many knives. Good ones at least, you know what I mean? So, right here, I'm gonna do, uh, what's, what should be the first knife I show on this channel? That's a hard choice. You know what, since this might have been my EDC for a year now, everyday carry knife, I'm going to show you first knife on this channel. It's gonna be, even though I have a lot of favorites, Benchmade Mini Bug Out S30V Deep Pocket Clip. I mean, this thing has been in the freaking washing machine, like with the clothing, so many times because it's so light and it's been in my pocket and I didn't notice. 
So the detergent never hurt this knife, as you can see, it's slick. It shuts so easily, man. I, I mean, it barely needs a flip sometimes if you get in the right angle. So yeah, that's gonna be the first knife in the video. It's gonna go right here. So you could do tip up, tip down, whatever. I don't care, it doesn't matter, I'll just show you. There you go, guys. You see how good that fits in there? Let me show you the angle. It is barely sticking out, and look how much room you got on the box still. This much room, so you got a much larger knife fit in there. This is gonna make sure it's gonna ensure that the knife is not bum bum bum, you know, banging around. So I'm gonna show you a knife that's a little more girthy, you know, a little bit longer too. Oh shit, I didn't get the flick good on that. It's okay, first take, man. No bullshit. Spider Co. Sage 2, CPM S30V, Tai Chung Factory. We know that is a nice knife. Titanium, you know, some people compare this to the Sabenza, even though it's uh, cheaper. This is like discontinued already. This is uh, old now, but it's always going to be a nice one. But actually, better than this shit that's coming out now. One knife that I always wanted from Spyderco was a Techno 2. Didn't get that one because it's kind of expensive now and small for the size. I mean, small for the price. This one, I it used to be only like a hundred dollars, hundred fifty. Now this thing is like two thirty. You know, titanium frame locks will go up in value. It just will. Anything that's built nicely will be going up in value guys so here you go there you go it's all in right there okay guys so I think this is the end of the video everything's here I can shut the box now lid's kind of tight because it's brand new. I hope it stays that way though. It's nice. There you go, guys. Oh, and on this box, there's a water release valve. It's right here. You know, it's only for storage. I don't care. We don't need that. And uh, got the holes for the locks. If you want to lock your stuff. That's up to you. Come on, man. You can't beat that. $38. Harbor Freight will show you the links. My floor is full of foam. It is full of foam. I mean, now I gotta clean some mess up. Like, I did this. Uh, it's a big mess. Alright. So, I made a big mess for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you wanna see more, Give me some kind of interaction. Show me some love so I know. You know, Tim Z, don't give up on this. Don't give up. Keep going, all right? So, I got to think of some new videos. You guys got any ideas, content, or things you want to hear about? Let me know, all right? So, until next time, Tim Z out.